Ivy Slaughter in the black. Garnet and goal for Florida State. The opening tap is controlled by the Seminoles. You will see Syracuse play that 2-3 zone, and the first is a skip pass over the top. Bingley the miss. Butler has the rebound. She is one of the six seniors for the Orange, honored tonight on senior night as Slim misfires from the wing. I don't think Quentin Hillsman wants his team shooting on the first pass. And Florida State turns it over on an unforced error, so you cannot give Coach Q extra possessions. In his 10th season as the head coach, 209 victories. He's got the best winning percentage in school history, 65%. There's Butler as it rims out. Butler, the active leader in made three-pointers in the entire nation. Bingley, slaughter on the collaboration. I think Florida State is very unselfish in their transition game, Tom. They switch sides of the floor. They're always looking to score points in the shoot, which is right in the paint, right in the middle of the floor. Slim again tries to tee it up. Brown the rebound. First three shot attempts for Syracuse outside the arc. Alexis Peterson picks up her first personal. Seven straight years for the Orange, 20 or more wins. Tonight they will be tested, however, by a team that's won 11 in a row. Peterson stepping in the passing lane. Romero tries to get back defensively. Can't stop number one in white. Peterson playing with a small wrap on that right hand, and she has hurt it in the last couple of games, but she played 35 minutes against NC State without issue. That was a victory on Sunday for the Orange. Day got back defensively, and Bogak travels. <laughs> Leading scorer for the Orange, Alexis Peterson. 14 and a half points per game for the junior from Columbus, Ohio. I think she sets the tone of pressure for them. They can move their point of pressure where they initiate their pressure because of her. He's a point guard that can guard 94 feet. Butler ripping the ropes from three-point range. There's the step back. Best three-point shooter in college basketball right now. Three turnovers on their first five possessions so far for Florida State. Trying to get in the flow of this game early on and trailing Syracuse five to two. Nearly turned it over again, and there it is as Slim grabs it. Didn't take long for Sue Semrau to get Shaquayla Thomas in the game, did it? Shaquayla Thomas, number 20 in black. Day's pass was behind Slim. It's Bingley in transition. Look at Day. She makes one mistake on the other end, and she hustles back to make the defensive play on the, on the defensive end. Third in the uh -oh. conference of blocks. It's another three. Uh-oh. The last time that you and I broadcast the game for Syracuse was against Virginia on the road, Deb, and Butler made six for six in the first half from three-point range. I think you're good luck. <laughs> I, I'm just here to watch some great basketball, Deb, that's all. Although I do love coming back to this campus. Day went up for it. Slaughter was also there, but here comes Peterson. Butler, catch and release. And Brown will run it down. Any dead ball, any opportunity that Florida State does not have to run, you're going to see Syracuse look to extend their pressure. There's Thomas, athletic, and a nice soft touch. If you keep a shot chart on Shaquayla Thomas, everything is going to be about eight feet in. She doesn't take many shots outside the elbows or right around the rim. Butler's pass went off of Day. And now Brown. Sykes got back defensively. Fowler had a chance at a three-point play. Look how much up and down this game has been in three and a half minutes, Tom. This is going to be the kind of pace that we like to see. They just got to take better care of the basketball. Brittany Brown cannot be knocked off her line. A great finish with her left hand going left in transition. Fondren has committed the game for Syracuse. Also one of the seniors honored prior to the start of the game. Brittany Brown, 65% from the line. Yeah, she's got to be a better free throw shooter than that. Because you need her in the late game to handle the ball and be able to knock down free throws at the end of the game. Sykes, 
Butler. <laughs> Does that three threes in less than four minutes? That's my kind of shooting right there. Three for five from long distance. Brianna Butler putting on a show thus far for senior night inside the dome. Jack goes right by Day and a chance at a three-point play again for the Knowles. Yeah, not a smart play by Brianna Day because she allows Bulgak to drive by her and then she fouls from behind. You got to stay on your feet right here. You're a shot blocker, but you let her get by. Sixty-eight percent of the season from the stripe for Bulgak. Brianna Day picked up her first personal. It's going to go against the orange. It's like Day again. She's headed right over to the scorer's table. She's got two personals. That's two quick ones for Day. She's going to have to take a seat, and her sister. Bria is going to come in the game. Bria and Brianna from Raleigh, North Carolina, where they won a couple of state championships at Millbrook High School. And now Junior's on this roster for the Orange, and we're going the other direction as Slaughter lost the handle. See, Slaughter's not used to handling a ball in that situation, and that's why the traps are important, because you don't know when they're always coming. It's a mix of where their point of pressure starts. You gotta get three, the right people in the right positions. Deb, 337 career three-pointers for Butler now. She's got three in the first half. That is a school record and tops among active players at NCAA play this year and throughout her career. Morrison wants one. Day tries to run it down. Shot clock down to three. Hey, why would anyone else but Butler be taking shots right now for Syracuse? Romero baseline. Especially contested shots. That might be part of the reason why they shoot 36% from the floor. I mean, Brianna Butler has hit three threes in less than four minutes to start the game. So Butler's going to get a breather. She leaves the game for Syracuse three of five from long distance. How could she be tired, Coach Q? You got to <laughs> leave her in. I mean, unless her arm's tired. Morrison deflected it. Thomas recovered. Now, Romero and Conde are in the game now for Florida State. Bulgak, three-point attempts. Came up short. Slaughter right there to clean it up. I love the skip pass and transition. But usually the skip is to Butler on the other side of the floor. When you switch sides of the floor and transition, that is really difficult to guard. Bulgak in traffic. She's going to be called for the foul. As Fondren had the position underneath the basket.